In this lesson, we're going to start preparing the scene for the modeling of the second facade. Now, when it comes to doing projects with multiple building options, you need to ask yourself the question whether you want to keep your existing work, or let's say this one is called the option one, whether you want to keep your option one model in your scene while modeling your second, third, fourth, maybe fifth or sixth option. Now, what happens if you do that is that you are going to start accumulating a lot of geometry in your scene and your layer manager will become quite complex. For example, our building that we've modeled right now is done on slabs, walls, banding, frames and glass. Now, if you wanted to keep this building and start modeling a new one, you would have to distinguish between these layers and the one of your second option. So you could do that by calling it facade one slabs, facade one walls, etc, etc. What that'll do though is that your layer manager will become very complex, your scene might become quite difficult to manage and your file size will grow and grow. So what we're going to do is we're going to do another option where we save out your option one model to a separate file and we're going to extract it back into this scene. So to do that all I want to do is I want to hide the context and the roads since I don't want to remove those from the scene I want to keep them. You can go ahead and select all of those objects that you want to remove save as save selected and then go ahead and find your project files in your 3d max files and then go into xref scenes. Over there you can call it facade 01 and you can save that. As soon as that's saved, you can hit delete on your keyboard and it's gone. So once you open up or at least view your context and your roads, you'll see that your entire building is not there anymore. To get it back in, all we have to do is go to references, xref scene, add, go and find your facade 01, open it up, and then you'll have it back in. You'll notice that you won't be able to click on it, manipulate it, but it will be renderable. So when it comes time to rendering your different options, instead of opening or closing or at least hiding and unhiding your layers, all you have to do is you manage your three different building options in your XREF scene manager. So you'll be able to go here and enable or disable whichever facade option you want and then just render your scene out with the same camera. This is really great because it basically disperses your files across different, your, your disperses your scene across different files, bringing down the total size. And every time you save over your file, let's say revision one, revision two, revision three during the day, you won't have bulky file sizes accumulating on your hard drive. So I like to do this just to have the minimum amount of information in my scene. So once that is ready, I can go and open up your uh, the facade 2 uh, or the CAD information and let's just have a look at that so that we understand what we're going to be getting into in the next lesson when we actually start modeling this up. What we have here is the plan of one of the typical upper floors. So that'll be around this part of the building. It's showing us, if I look in plan view, and I zoom in here, it's showing us simply that we have a solid wall that we're going to model at the back. So we're not going to do any facade work over there. We're not interested in the, the back side. We're just interested in the front facade. And here we have a two meter wide balcony with some balustrade. And then this line here, uh, we have the shutters that are sliding along the facade. Back in perspective view, there is a small extracted section of what those typical floors would look like. So here we can see where the glass line is, where the top of the doors are, where the ceiling is. Uh, we can see the thickness of the slabs, the balustrades, as well as the screens in front here. If we look at the front elevation, this is what we're going to start working with first, is you'll see here you have your offshore concrete panels. These are straight vertical huge slabs with a window cut out here and here. And then on top you have your multiple layers or levels of cantilevered balconies with those sliding screens. And uh, that off shutter concrete is what we can see here. That is where it is positioned in section. So we'll be able to use these three CAD uh, diagrams or uh, at least extracted uh, information to start modeling our next facade. And that's going to be it for this quick lesson. It was just an introduction to how to get your facade set up, choosing between the option of keeping your model in your scene and continuing your work, or extracting it out and bringing it back in using an XREF scene, which we are using. So there we are. Next lesson, we are going to start modeling up this facade.